how to make the ice cream sundae. First of all, you see how I use these flat pieces of tape to join the cup with the bowl. Um, if you mess up by using one of these horrible little loops of tape, what will end up happening is your artwork will fall apart when it gets wet, okay? And that's a mess up. So uh, I will automatically uh, make you redo it if you mess up by putting a loop of tape. I do not allow them. They are not good for uh, creating three-dimensional sculptures. So what you do instead is you take a flat piece of tape, you put it on the cup like this, and then you attach it this way, okay? Wrap it around, flatten it, and then the next piece would go on the other side. And usually three pieces of tape are sufficient, but they must be flat pieces of tape. I do not allow students, when they're building anything 3D, to ever use loops of tape. They do not work. The artwork falls apart as soon as it gets wet and then ends up having to be redone. It wastes a lot of material. So flat pieces of tape only. The next step is the tin foil. Soon you can make this out of tin foil. What you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of tin foil and you're going to cut it with the scissors. Don't rip it. You'll have more control if you cut it here and here. into an ice cream spoon, okay? And it looks a little flimsy here, like it might rip. So I'm gonna take extra tin foil. And I'm gonna wrap it around here. my sundae cup and I now need to make the ice cream. I'm going to take the edge of my newspaper and I'm going to fold it into the middle. The newspaper has four corners. Each corner gets folded into the middle. You're not just randomly crumpling it up. You're crumpling it towards the middle. And what ends up happening is you have this nice round piece of newspaper and again you're wrapping that in tin foil so right now what you're going to end up with is a tin foil sculpture okay not gonna not going to be the way it's going to look in the end 
This is your armature. This is what is built underneath. So you probably want to have three scoops of ice cream for three different flavors. You make the other two scoops the same way. Finished ice cream sundaes. The students just made the bowl, the ice cream, and the spoon. They didn't have the base like what we're making here, but I think this is going to make it look more like an ice cream sundae cup. But you can see that they later added plaster bandages. And then after that, they were able to paint it and they were able to put in all these interesting details, which I will show you in the next video. If you want to make an ice cream cone, just take a piece of oak tag, roll it into a cone and cut off the extra here so it's not as pointy. You make the ice cream the exact same way. And then when you attach it, do not use any loops of tape. You must use flat pieces of tape to attach it. If you mess up and use a loop, then this part will rip right off. If you're doing a cone, all you have to do is roll it so that you end up with a nice point. And have a friend hold it for you while you tape it. And then you can trim off this area here. Remember, when you add the ice cream, you have to use flat pieces of tape or the ice cream will come off while you're in the middle of building your sculpture. And then you'll have messed up and you'll have to do it again. And you might run out of time. Your artwork falls apart and it's poorly constructed. You might not end up with something that you like. Here are two finished ice creams. One student uh, was able to figure out how to do a double decker ice cream with a cherry on top. This student got a lot of detail when she painted all of the waffle cone. So these are two different interpretations of the same project. Again, you want to make absolutely sure that the project doesn't get soggy while we're working on it. So we will need to cover everything with tinfoil. This student was able to take a newspaper, crumple it into a long piece, roll it into a ring, tape it, and then to create a donut they then took the tin foil wrapped it around you can see it's a little bit too thick on that side and not thick enough on this side so as you're working you have to tweak it to make it look right before you start adding the plaster I don't want to hear later that you did something that you're not happy with because you didn't think about it during the planning stages. There's the armature for the donut. Here's what the donut looks like when it's finished.